Hey guys, I have a 07 Electric Light Ultra Classic, as you can see. I'll show you what's in the front of it. Anyways, the reason why I'm doing this video is because I did lower my my bike. Uh, I bought a lowering kit that lowers your bike uh, three inches. The brackets is one on the uh, on this side and the other one on the other side. Uh, I did made a video on how to install it, which is pretty simple. Uh, the reason why I'm doing the video is because I'm going to show you something that I found out while I was lowering my bike. First thing I did is put the brackets on, you know, and lower it to the lowest position, which is three inches down. And then I went around the block, and what I noticed was that the wheel, the tire, was rubbing against the inside of the fender. Okay. It was rubbing inside of it because it was too low. Then, then uh, I went to the uh, hole that uh, the position in the middle, which is only lower than two inches. So I left it that way for a while until my wife got on it. She's not a, I mean, she's not fat or anything. She's like a hundred and maybe thirty-six pounds. But anyways, uh, I hit a bump that afternoon when I was with my wife. Uh, and uh, I smell rubber so I knew immediately that my wheel was my tire I mean it was rubbing against the inside of the fender so I got back home and uh, I only lowered it to one inch which is instead of being in the middle hole I went to the first hole so I left it that way for a while after about maybe a month I noticed that my uh, tail lights were not working these were working and that one wasn't working and then I found out that what happened was you see this cable here this cable I don't know why Harley Davidson designed the cable to go in the inside of the fender like let me show you the hole okay you see this is the cable right here and you see how I have it run I ran it on the outside you got plenty of room this seat is not gonna bother it in fact if I don't if I don't tell you the cable is there, you won't be able to notice. Anyhow, anyways, this is how they had it. This cable ran inside. Okay. So, I don't know, like I said, the engineers, they're supposed to know better than that. As you can see, I'm not an engineer, and I knew that there's, there's got to be another way. So, what I did was, I cut the wires right here. Cut them here, because it was going inside, inside the hole. So I cut it here, and then what I did was, I took the tail light out of it, that screw in this one. Once you bring it out, you can see the inside of it is a hole in there. And then what I did was, I pulled the cable uh, through that hole, pulled it all the way out. And then uh, I ran it the same way it was, but instead of going in, I brought it towards the outside, as you can see. And there's a, there's a hole once you take this off, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. I don't know if you can see. Let me see. Let me show you. Oh, yeah, you can see it. Let's see. I'm too close to it. Let me see if I got this way. Oh, let me see if I hit it this way. See, I want you to see it. Because so. I don't want to take that off. But anyways, the hole is like... Right here, and if you can see the cable, it's not a lot of light, but anyways, it's right there. So, what it is was you rent it, you bring it. Let me get up. Oh, fuck. Okay. Okay. What you do is you run it this way on the outside, and the plug, you, you go, you run the plug into the hole, and then make sort of like a loop towards up, and then it'll click to, uh, to your tail light pretty simple and then what you do is since you already cut it you cut it right here what you do is the, the wires got many colors it's got white yellow green red and black and brown and what you do is you just match up the colors to the wires and tape them pretty good and put some of that wire uh, I think it's called cover see this plastic cover it's like a it's like a place of uh, a piece of uh, like a tube, kind of a tube, and you see it's got an opening in the middle. 
See right there? So you just put it in there so that way the wire won't be everywhere. And tape it up pretty good. And that's that's how you fix it. And uh if you ever get problems with your lights, you know exactly it's gonna be it's gonna be right here. Because sometimes your uh, shocks, if you're a big guy, I'm 140 pounds. My wife is about 130, 32, somewhere in there. As you can see, when that got heavy. But sometimes you might hit a bump that is gonna, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna hit the uh, the top of the uh, fender, your, your tire wheel, and then you're gonna rub against it. Once you rub against it, you're fucked. You already cut the wires because the wires run somewhere. Well, she and I lying to you. See how, see how it is. Well, not in the middle, but just about to the side, so the wheel is gonna cut it. And what you do is just what I just told you. Just cut it here and pull the fuck out of it. Don't be afraid of it. It'll come out. It'll come out that way. And then you just run it. You can either run it this way if you want. I run it this way because it's closer to the uh, to the hole of the light. Let's see if you can see that. Uh, but you, anyways, like I said, whenever you take this off, you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. I know you're smart enough to figure that one out. But that's how I did it. Do not go for, do not go to Harley Davidson, man. If that ever happens to you, do not go there. They're gonna fuck you, and you know that, right? They're gonna want all kind of money, even your kids, as as a collateral. All right, man. I I hope you enjoy the your video, and I hope you never run into the problem that I did. Like I said, I I cost it, I guess, because I lowered the bike a little too low. But anyways, but so far, no problems. Thanks, dudes. Bye.